Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with the Salmons and this is Greg. Now today I'm going to be teaching you how I make a Jamaican treat called coconut drops or coconut cakes for that matter, alright? So I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how it's done. It's quite simple. It's cut up coconut, sugar, maybe a little vanilla and that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how that's done. But before we do that, just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well so you'll be notified each time we post. Hit that like and that share button as well. Alright? And without further delay, let's get started. Okay guys, so these are the ingredients that we're going to be using for our coconut drops. Alright? So, what we have here, we have our coconut. That's a medium to large size coconut. And it's taken out of the shell and basically cubed very small all right so it's all cubed very small then we have our two cups of sugar we have our vanilla and we also have some cinnamon powder now normally we'd use cinnamon leaves but i don't have cinnamon leaves right now so i'm going to be using just a little cinnamon powder to um to compensate for that all right now this ginger is grated ginger it's about um a tablespoon um, some persons use up to even a half a cup to a cup of ginger but my preference is um, not to use a lot of ginger because it can be overpowering sometimes all right that's for me though so I'm gonna just be using um, a tablespoon and that is good enough for me because this ginger is really strong all right so I'm gonna go ahead now and go over to the stove and show you exactly how this is done Okay guys, so the, the best type of pot to use is a Dutch pot, all right? Most Jamaicans will know what a Dutch pot is. The, um, the thickness of that pot um, makes it, you know, a, the, the best option for doing this kind of uh, snack, all right? So we have four cups of water, brought it to a boil. Then we're gonna go ahead and um, add our coconut. So we'll just go ahead and add our coconut here. I'm then gonna go ahead and add our ginger. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a tip of that cinnamon powder. You could also add almond extract if you'd like. If you have almond extract, you could also add that as well to enhance the flavor a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and then add our sugar. All right, and this is two cups of brown sugar. All right, now the aim here is to have this simmer down to a syrupy consistency. All right, it's gonna simmer down to, um, to almost a syrup-like consistency. And at that point, then we'll know that it's ready. As long as the, 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 the coconut pieces are sticking together at the end, then that's the aim. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and have this cook on low heat it may take about 30 to 40 minutes to fully you know dry down and become that syrupy consistency that we're looking for all right at that time then i'll add a little bit of our vanilla so for now we're going to go ahead and let this simmer and we'll be back to show you exactly what that looks like okay guys so we're doing a check on our coconut mixture now um it's best to go kind of low and slow because the one of the main aim is to also cook the coconut all right so just go low and slow stir occasionally to um to make sure that it does not stick or it does not burn all right so i'll be back to show you when it has reduced and show you the rest of the process
Okay guys, at this point, we're about at the 25 minutes mark. And as you can see, it has reduced um, drastically. And um, as you notice these bubbles now, this is more of the syrupy consistency that I was talking about earlier, all right? So we're gonna leave this to, to dry down some more or reduce some more. All right, it has to be almost totally reduced so that the um, the sugar syrup will be able to hold the coconut pieces together and that will create the coconut drops or coconut cake as some people may call it all right so let's give it a give it some more time to do its thing as we said we're going low and slow if I had the stove up a bit higher it would have been already finished but I like to make sure that the coconut is properly cooked as well um, so the end result will be the best desired result. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of vanilla extract. All right. And that will add some flavor to the coconut drops or coconut cake. And as you can see, it's way more reduced than it was before. But we still need a bit more time for it to, to get to the right consistency. All right. Okay guys, so we're now at the desired consistency. It's thick enough. All right, when you move it aside, it, it should take a while to to flow back into the pan, all right? So this is the desired consistency that we need. And the color is really based on the, on the darkness of the sugar that you use. If you use a lighter sugar, then it will be lighter, all right? So the, the, the color you, you get from this is just based on the, the darkness of the brown sugar that you use. So we're gonna go ahead now and place this on our um, baking tray and on a piece of foil. Normally, traditionally we'd use banana leaves, but in the US it's very hard to find banana leaves, so we're gonna be using foil, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how we do that. Okay guys, so we're gonna do this um, scoop by scoop, but be very careful because this thing is extremely, extremely hot. You don't want this to, to touch any part of your skin, all right? So we just go ahead and place it on our sheet. Okay guys, so then we'd leave this to, to dry, to fully dry, before attempting to take these off or attempting to eat them, all right? So just leave them as they are when they dry, then we're all ready to eat. And it's as easy as that. Coconut drops made easy, or coconut cake, or coconut candy as some people may call it. Okay guys, and here we have it. Our coconut drops all ready to eat, all right? And there you have it. Coconut drops made easy. Now if you gain any knowledge from this video, just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well so you'll be notified each time we post, all right? Now, if you make your drops another way, drop it in the comment section so we could discuss it. If there's any other pastry you'd like for us to try or any other snack, any other recipe, 
drop it in the comment section as well and we'll be sure to get to it all right and until next time walk good one love and big up on yourself